Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to install MySQL in Windows operating system. So for that, first of all, we'll download the software from the internet and then I will show you the installation. So you can directly go with the dev.mysql.com. So click on the website. So just developer.mysql.com. So you can, you will be redirected to the SQL website. There you can observe here downloads tab. So you just click on the downloads tab. And uh, here just to scroll down, you can find the link called MySQL Community GPL Downloads. So click on this MySQL Community GPL Downloads. So after clicking on this, so you'll get a lot of links. So under all these links, you just click on this community server, SQ, MySQL Community Server. So click on that. So it will redirect it to this one. So first you need to select the operating system. So I will select Microsoft Windows and here directly you can go to the download page. So if you download this one, you will get some zip file. Okay. So again, you have to unzip and you can you have to install it. But here just go to the download page, click on this one. And here you can find the two links. One, one is a web community and another one is a installer direct community. So if it is a web community, so it will give the reference to the normal exe file and uh, if you, you, you uh, during the installation process and net internet is required and it takes much time right so if you go with the second link so this is a direct installer first the complete software will be downloaded into the system later you can switch off the internet or without the internet also we can install the mysql right so you can observe the uh, size of the file so this is a web community file that is a 2.4 mb and he this is a 422.4 mb right so first download this one click on this download so automatically it will redirect to one more page it will ask for the login or a sign up so if you it is not mandatory you can observe the link behind this one so below this one there is a no thanks just start my download so click on this link so that you are uh, download will be started you can observe here so as it is a 422 mb it may take some time so i am just uh, cancelling this uh, download because i have already downloaded the file so i will directly install the mysql so you can find out this uh, file after the download right so mysql installer community so this is the version 8.0 so just double click on that one so it will start installing the mysql and during the installation it will prompt for a few things so like this so if you see this so it is asking us to allow this app to make changes to your device so click on this yes so again it will start installing the mysql so after that you will get this one so choose a setup type so we can choose the developer default or server only or a client only or a full or a custom right so if it is a developer default so what are uh, what are the things to be included that is a mysql server mysql shell mysql router mysql workbench mysql for visual studio connectors for uh, uh, java c c++ odbc uh, etc so all these things will included in this developer default and if you go with the server only again a few things will be available if it is a client, you will get a what, what to be included. So like that, there will be a different uh, settings. So you, I will just go with the developer settings. So developer default, that means a default settings. So I will click on the next. So here you can find, see, you can, you can find the path install directory. So where to be installed, okay, where to be data, where to be installed. So everything uh, you have, you need to uh, select the path. So I will select the default itself. I will go with the next. So still have warnings. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So you can find the Visual Studio My MySQL for Visual Studio. Go with the next one. So you can observe the status ready to install. All these things will be installed after clicking this one. So ready to install status. Just click on execute so that it will start installing each and every product. So you can observe the progress here, right? 
so it may take some time right because there are a lot of uh, things to be installed so it may take some time so be patient okay so you can observe uh, here so the status is all completed and after getting this one you just click on next so it will be moving to this a type and networking so you have to select the config type so there will be a lot of things so server dedicated and development uh, development computer so i will go with the default settings so default tcp ip and default port number so if you are having any idea you can change the port and uh, I, I am not changing anything so i am just going with the default settings just clicking on the next so strong password authentication so yes so go with all the defaults so you just give the root password and remember that root password so i will give some password here and i will remember so check check out this one so after getting this one so you will uh, the next button will be enabled so go with the next and uh, just remember that password okay and here also i will go with all the uh, default settings so service name mysql 80 so 80 is nothing but uh, our uh, version name 8.0 and go with the same thing so click on next see writing the configure file updating adjusting starting and updating the start menu link so click on the execute so just wait for it while so it will configure all these things so once it was completed you can observe here the configuration for my sql server 8.0.23 was successful click finish to continue so click here finish so you can observe here mysql server 8.023 is configuration completed and again two are there to ready to configure click on the next one so just you uh, keep on the default setting click on the finish so not needed so you can observe here the root here you give the password which have given earlier so just remember that password and here you need to check verify that one so yes so then click on the next and click on the execute so again it will configure some steps so you can observe here the configuration for samples and examples 8.0.23 was successful click finish to continue right so click on finish so it will it was con uh, completed and click on the next and you just uh, keep the defaults so start mysql workbench after setup and start mysql shell after setup so after clicking on the fin finish so you'll get these two things so workbench and shell so just check out so click on the finish button so this is a shell okay mysql shell so you can observe the shell right so this is a shell and also you'll get the workbench mysql workbench will also be open see you can observe here so this is the mysql workbench and here you can clearly observe mysql workbench is the official graphical user interface tool for mysql it allow you to design create and browse your database schemes work with database objects and insert data as well as design and run sql queries to work with the stored data so this is a graphical user interface in order to work with the mysql you click on this local instance so that it will prompt for the password so you just give the password which you have gave, given earlier so that it will be connected to the space so here you have to execute the queries okay here in this place in this place we have to execute the queries see we will see how many databases are there so for knowing the databases we have to use the command show show databases okay semicolon and this is the icon to execute this one so if you execute this one you can get the all the these are these are the databases available here default databases right so in order to check what are the tables available in this database first you have to use the database and then we have to check so i will use some uh, sys database okay you can observe here sys database use sys database so 
click on the enter and or execute this one so automatically now we are under sys database you can observe here okay sys database and here in order to show the tables there is again we have to go with the command called show tables show tables execute this one so these are the tables available in sys these are the tables available in sys you can observe here okay or else you can also go with this one so right these are the tables okay and or else we can also go with uh, another one that is uh, use world world database so there is a world database so we'll check what are the tables available in that world show tables so these are the tables available in world okay these are the tables available in world so i think you understood this one see these are the world right so this is how we can uh, install mysql and we can uh, work with the mysql queries right so let's stop here and if you are having any doubt regarding the installation during the installation if you got any problem feel free to post your doubt in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much